In this video tutorial, we will learn to use model check to add parameter by check items add check param. This check is used for adding a parameter to store the outcome of another check, let's say we could use model check to report the model's name. Then we use add check param to copy the model's name as the value of a user defined parameter. Before we begin, to avoid the restriction of not having right access to the model check configuration file. It is recommended to copy the model check configuration files from the Creo load point, common files, modch, text, Yosuski directory to a custom path. And set the config.pro option model check dir to this path. Then, let's demonstrate how to use add check param to call out the model's name as the value of a user defined parameter. We could click File, Options, Environment, Model Check Settings to open the Model Check Configuration tool. First step, we create a check file with check item add check param. Check the box in front of this option and set interact mode to Y. And add another check item which we want to report its information, in this case, we choose model name str to report the model's name. Check the box in front of this option, and set interact mode to Y as well. Click save as, and type a name. Collapse and expand check file group we could see the new check file at here. Second step, we need to create a start file. Right click in a blank area, and select add row. Then, select this blank line with the left mouse button and we can see the following add item button is activated. Now, we can define the parameters we want to add. Select item type as part, we may select type as assembly or drawing if we want to add parameter into assembly or drawing type. Select type of start item as, add check parameter, enter the name of the user defined parameter to be added. The value should enter the name of the check item which defined in the check file, here is model name str. Click add item to add a row in start file. Click save as, and type a name. Collapse and expand start file group. We could see the new start file at here. Third step, we should define the conditional setting. Expand conditional settings group and select edit condition.mcc. Change the check file and start file with the previous saved files. Model check configuration is completed. Click OK to close the model check configuration tool. Then, we could click file, prepare. Model Check Interactive, to run Model Check in a sample model. We could see the check result in the Model Check Report dialog. Expand the information column, the model's name has been reported. Meanwhile, a user-defined parameter with the value of the model's name has been automatically added.